A cloudy day across the area, also cooler temperatures, and that's going to be the trend for the next couple of days. Uh, highs made up in the 60s today. We're only going to be into the 50s for high temperatures tomorrow. That was a live look from Schoen's Roofing and Beatrice. We take you now to Honda of Lincoln, looking off to the southwest. And again, lots of clouds just covering the area. We're sitting at 63 degrees in Lincoln. It's 62 in Beatrice, 62 in Hebron. But notice out to the west, it is just a bit cooler, and that's where we've got some light rain showers. Now, as we go through the rest of this evening, we will keep temperatures on the dropping side uh, down to 57 degrees by 10 o'clock. As we go through the overnight, we'll have scattered showers beginning to move into the area. Our temperatures overnight will drop into the upper 40s to low 50s, so definitely temperatures running below normal. I mentioned the rain. There's nothing really falling right now in Lincoln. It's all back out to the west, specifically out towards Grand Island and Hastings. Not a lot of rain, but enough rain to definitely bring some, uh, make some roads wet and have to turn the windshield wipers on a few times. Now, you'll notice we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to tomorrow morning, and I will keep keep a chance for some scattered showers in the forecast as we go through the overnight hours, probably in the Lincoln area as early as 10 o'clock tonight and then continuing on overnight. Uh, there will be some dry time overnight, but just don't be surprised for things to be wet by morning. You'll notice temperature wise, we don't move a whole lot as we go through the day. Rain starts to move in from the south. Here we are by noon and there may even be a rumble of thunder mixed in at times. For the most part, I think this is mainly going to be just plain old rain falling. And it's going to be a steady rain and at times we'll have some pockets of moderate or even perhaps even heavy rain. This is looking at three o'clock in the afternoon and notice temperatures haven't moved much at all low to mid 50s and then as we head towards six o'clock we're still dealing with some of the showers around and cooler temperatures now i think high temperatures tomorrow will likely occur early tomorrow morning uh, probably right around sunrise looking for a high of 56 in lincoln 54 in beatrice and 55 in seward will all be down in the low 50s as we head through the afternoon and winds may gust at times to 35 miles per hour sustained will be out of the east northeast 10 to 18 miles per hour as we go into tuesday night and into wednesday morning we'll keep a chance for rain around i think the rain will not be quite as intense overnight as we go through the day on wednesday we're likely to see once again cloudy skies scattered showers around uh, maybe some moderate rain moving in at times as we head through noon on wednesday and we're going to keep this rain around throughout the day on wednesday as well so how much rain you can expect i think by the time you're heading home to work tomorrow evening uh, we're probably talking up near an inch of rain in Lincoln, uh, perhaps higher amounts, maybe inch, inch and a half down towards Beatrice with maybe as much as four tenths up towards Columbus. As we go into Tuesday into Wednesday, the additional rain. So this is looking at a storm total from tonight through Wednesday. Uh, a tw 29 computer model average suggests right at 2.35 inches of rain for Lincoln, near two inches down towards Beatrice. And to give you an idea, we normally for this time period should see about 6,700 seven inch of rain. So we are well above normal rainfall coming our way for the time period over the next couple of days. So if you need to get yard work done, not tomorrow, not Wednesday, probably not Thursday morning because the rain may linger into Thursday morning and then things start to dry out for Thursday afternoon as well as Friday and as we head towards the weekend. Speaking of that, notice temperatures start to increase Thursday. The sun pops out by Friday. Things start to turn more humid and temperatures start warming up to 86 degrees. And then as we head towards the holiday weekend, it is going to turn muggly. Temperatures in the low 90s, forecasting 92 on Saturday, a high temperature of 90 on Sunday, 92 again by Monday, which may turn a little windy on uh, Memorial Day as well. And then a chance for some showers and thunderstorms coming in late Tuesday night as a cold front comes through. And then maybe some showers hanging around through Wednesday. I put